Hello everyone, this is Prem Sodani coming up with the next round of our quiz session and in this session we generally discuss some of the very important current affairs in terms of question and answers. So let's get started with the 28th December's current affairs in terms of questions. Okay. So this is the first question that is with reference to Thai Kamthi people consider the following statement. They follow the, uh, Theravida Buddhism. Okay. The second is presently they reside in the areas including Arunachal Pradesh and Assam. Okay, so both of these are, uh, you know, correct statements. Let me discuss here about this, you know, why this question is in news because it was the, <clears throat> this is the Thai Khamthi people and there was a war between these Thai Khamthi people versus Britishers in the year of 1839, okay, uh, versus Britishers. So this war, th there is demands that this uh, struggle should be recognized as India's uh, first struggle of independence right so therefore this Thai Khamthi people are in news and they reside in the area of Arunachal Pradesh and Assam this is true the population of these uh, Thai Khamthi people is less than 1 lakh only 1 lakh you know individuals are there of this population and they follow this Theravada Buddhism right this is the you know ancient form of this Buddhism <clears throat> And that can be said that the original form of Buddhism that is Theravada Buddhism. So let me discuss here about the Buddhism. So Buddhism <coughs> in, in 72nd AD it was the fourth council which held in Jammu and Kashmir that is Kashmir at that time and it was the Kanishka at that time he was the king and this was uh, presided by Vasumitra. Okay, so in this meeting, this Buddhism was divided into two main factions that is one was Mahayana and the other one was Hinayana. Mahayana means greater wheel and second one was Hinayana means lesser wheel. Remember, this Hinayana was the original form of Buddhism means they were not worshipping the symbols of Buddhism. Wo symbols ki puja nahi karte the. But this Mahayana which was, uh, you know, this means greater wheel okay and they were the follower of the symbols now they are preaching the symbols also right so this was mahayana so this was divided into two these main factions that is mahayana and hinayana and third is uh, you know third form was later originated that is vajrayana vajrayana is the form in which you know tantricism is there to so, tantricism and more complex rituals are there that is tantricism Okay, so these are the three main branches of Buddhism that is Mahayana, Hinayana and Vajrayana. Under this Hinayana, this is the form of, you no, know, they are the original followers, original followers and under this branch only Theravada Buddhism also comes, Theravada Buddhism, right. So Theravada branch is under Hinayana Buddhism only. Its origination was in Sri Lanka, right? This was originated in Sri Lanka. So remember this about this Theravada Buddhism. That is the oldest form of Buddhism, most original form of the Buddhism. And this comes under the Hinayana branch. That is, they <coughs> do not worship the symbols, okay? And here you can remember one other form that is Jain Buddhism, Z Z D N G E N, that was developed in China under Tang you know dynasty and this is the most you know followed in the china and japan okay so these are the branches that you can remember buddhism it was came into the two branches in 72nd ad under king uh, <coughs> kanishka in kashmir right and this was presided by vasumitra so this was all about buddhism and about this thai kamati people okay coming to the next question so answer would be both one and two are correct in this case okay coming to the next question that is with reference to ek bharat and shresh bharat initiative consider the following statement the first statement says the scheme aims to promote engagement amongst the people of different states and union territories this is one statement the second says ministry of culture has been designated nodal ministry for the coordination of the for the program okay so this is not true ministry of culture is not the one that is the nodal ministry it is ministry of hrd human and <clears throat> human resources development so this this is wrong second statement is not true but one is true so the answer would be one only let me tell you here 
it was 31st of October of 2015. We were celebrating the 140 year of birth anniversary of Mr. Patel, Sardar Patel ji. Okay, so Sardar Patel was known for his efforts. Sardar Patel जो थे, वो अपने यूनिफिकेशन एफर्ट्स के लिए जाने जाते हैं एंड फॉर दैट वी वर रिमेंबरिंग हिम फॉर हिज यूनिफिकेशन एफर्ट्स एंड फॉर दैट वी वर एक्चुअली वी केम अप विद दिस आइडिया दैट इज एक भारत एंड श्रेष्ठ भारत मतलब वन इंडिया एंड द बेस्ट इंडिया राइट सो अंडर दिस व्हाट वी वर डूइंग वी वर सेलिब्रेटिंग आवर यूनिटी वी वर सेलिब्रेटिंग आवर डाइवर्सिटी एंड टू सेलिब्रेट दैट डाइवर्सिटी एंड यूनिटी वी केम अप विद दिस प्रोग्राम सो नाउ वॉट वी आर गोइंग टू डू अंडर दिस प्रोग्राम क्या करने वाले हम लोग वी आर सपोज टू नो क्रिएट द कॉन्टेक्ट बिटवीन दिस डाइवर्सिटी वी आर गोइंग टू एनरिच द पीपल ऑफ वन रीजन विद द डाइवर्सिटी ऑफ द अदर रीजन ठीक है सो द कोलेबरेशन वुड बी देयर सो दिस वॉज मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ ह्यूमन रिसोर्सेज डेवलपमेंट विच वॉज द नोडल एजेंसी रिमेंबर दिस वन विच वॉज uh you know designated as a nodal ministry under this program so this was all about this program the answer would be one only okay coming to the next question that is about <clears throat> with reference to central sectoral scheme that is formation and promotion of 10000 fpos that is farmer produce organization right fpos so consider the following statement the scheme was launched by the ministry of agriculture and farmers welfare this is true right so uh, this this scheme was launched by ministry of agriculture the formation and promotion of fpos are based on the produce cluster area approach alone so i'll tell you this is not true what is the answer that is one only let me discuss here the first thing is what is producer organizations so remember this is the legal entity what could be the definition that is the legal entity of primary producers primary producers this is the definition of this prime uh, sorry this is the definition of this producer organization so when i say this is a producer organization what does it mean it means this is the legal entity of these primary producers and if these primary producers are farmers theek hai to ho jayega farmers producer organization means the legal entity of farmers right now these primary producers are farmers so this is the definition of fpo now these fpos हमने बनाए क्यों एफपीओ बिकॉज इंडिया में मोस्ट ऑफ द फार्मर्स जो हैं दे आर स्मॉल एंड मार्जिनल कम्युनिटी वाले फार्मर हैं मार्जिनल फार्मर्स हैं सो लैंड फ्रेगमेंटेशन इज देयर एवरेज लैंड होल्डिंग इज डिक्रीजिंग है ना डिक्लाइनिंग सो हमें इकोनॉमी ऑफ स्केल अगर चाहिए हमें प्रोडक्शन अगर ज्यादा चाहिए सो यू शुड हैव नो लार्ज नंबर ऑफ एकर्स यूनाइटेड फॉर अ पर्टिकुलर कल्टिवेशन थोड़ा हमें लैंड जो है वो बड़ी होनी चाहिए साइज बड़ी होनी चाहिए या फिर यूं कहें कि जो प्रोडक्शन होना है उसमें फार्मर्स की कलेक्टिव वॉइसेस हो कैसे वो काम करने वाले हैं सो दिस इज द एम टू क्रिएट दिस एफपीओ ठीक है एफपीओ में ऐसे ग्रुप होंगे कलेक्टिव डिसीजन मेकिंग होंगी प्लस उनकी खुद की जो से होगी वॉइस होगी वो भी यहां पे सुनी जाएगी राइट सो गवर्नमेंट केम अप विद दिस स्कीम दैट इज फॉर्मेशन एंड प्रमोशन ऑफ टेन थाउजेंड इन टू ओके सो वट वॉज द आइडिया द आइडिया वॉज टू डबल द फार्मर्स इनकम जो हमारा शुरू से एम है बाई ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू सो इसके तहत ही हम वीवर यू नो केम वी केम अप विद दिस स्कीम अब इस स्कीम के दो पार्ट थे राइट द फर्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ दिस स्कीम वॉज टू प्रोवाइड दम इक्विटी सपोर्ट इक्विटी सपोर्ट सो इन दिस इक्विटी सपोर्ट पंद्रह लाख फिफ्टीन लाख रुपीज सपोर्ट फॉर अ पीरियड ऑफ थ्री ईयर्स विल बी प्रोवाइडेड वुड बी प्रोवाइडेड टू दिस एफ पी ओस ओके and the in the second case right with the help of this small this is uh, you can remember this is a small farmers agri business consortium agri business consortium this is the main body behind this farmers producer organizations that is asfac right so with the help of this asfac this equity was to be provided these to these फार्मर प्रोड्यूस जो ऑर्गेनाइजेशन है इनको प्रोवाइड करी जानी थी सो दिस इक्विटी सपोर्ट ऑफ 15 लाख फॉर अ पीरियड ऑफ थ्री इयर्स एंड इन सेकंड केस दैट वाज अ लॉन कंपोनेंट ठीक है या फिर यूं कहें क्रेडिट गारंटी कंपोनेंट दिस वाज दिस क्रेडिट गारंटी कंपोनेंट सो अंडर दिस क्रेडिट गारंटी कंपोनेंट दे वर सपोज टू बी प्रोवाइडेड विद वन करोड़ रुपीज लोन 
विदाउट हैविंग एनी कोलेट्रल मीन्स कोलेट्रल फ्री लोन था दैट वॉज वन करोड़ नाउ इट इज रीच टू द टू करोड़ बट अलियर इट वॉज वन करोड़ सो दिस वॉज द सपोर्ट वॉज टू बी प्रोवाइडेड टू दीज फार्मर प्रोड्यूसर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इनको प्रोवाइड करनी थी बट रिसेंटली अ रिपोर्ट आई है उसमें बताया गया है कि ओनली लेस देन फाइव परसेंट ऑफ दीज एफ आर गेटिंग दिस सपोर्ट ऑफ इक्विटी मीन्स लेस देन फाइव परसेंट ऑर्गेनाइजेशन जो है उनको ये बेनिफिट मिल रहा है एंड दिस बेनिफिट इज ओनली बींग achieved by 1% of the fpos theek hai so this is the report recent report i hai and that is why this scheme is in news now coming to this question that is the second part of the question let me erase this one if you have uh, no understood this one let me erase this one now these fpos can have two approaches right one is cluster ya area approach cluster area approach approach and the second approach is produce based approach product ya yeah, produce based approach so here you can see for example this is the area now this whole area could have the fpo one fpo could have this whole area yahan pe kuch bhi ho sakta hai and produce mein kya hoga ek produce jo hai kitne area mein ho sakta hai us basis pe bhi fpo ban sakta hai for example if a fpo is based on wheat for example wheat ya rice so that is produce based बट वेन इट इज क्लस्टर एरिया बेस्ड मीन्स जो वहां का पूरा एरिया है उसके बेसिस पे एफपीओ बना है तो दैट इज क्लस्टर एरिया बेस्ड अप्रोच ठीक है सो दिस कुड बी ऑफ टू टाइप नॉट दिस ओनली टाइप दैट इज प्रोड्यूस नो क्लस्टर एरिया अप्रोच एक अप्रोच नहीं है क्लस्टर एरिया अप्रोच भी है प्रोड्यूस अप्रोच भी है तो दैट इज टू अप्रोचेज आर देयर टू मेक दिस एफपीओ सो सेकेंड स्टेटमेंट इज नॉट ट्रू फर्स्ट वन इज ट्रू द आंसर वुड बी वन ओनली ओके कमिंग टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन दैट इज consider the following statement so this is uh, in england he organized a secret society that is lotus and daggers <clears throat> he was associated with the journals and periodicals like jugantar and bande matram some of his important writings are like divines savitri essay on the geeta so who is the person barindra ghosh shri arbindo ghosh lala lajpat ray aur mahatma gandhi the answer is shri arbindo ghosh uh we discuss uh, about this man in yesterday's question also i'll show you the yesterday's question as well so the birth date of this man was 15th august 1872 so we are going to celebrate his anniversary the next year right so he was not only a nationalist he was a nationalist he was a you know philosopher he was associated uh, with many organization this was the organization that he created in england that was a secret society you can remember especially this bande matram it was the english general of period 1905 that was the period of swadeshi movement jugantar was he was also associated with this jugantar theek hai jugantar ke sath bhi jude hue the and unki kafi sari books hai jo maine aapko kal ke question mein bhi batayi aaj bhi bata raha hu divine savitri especially essay on geeta theek hai aur bhi kuch inki important books hain jaise karma and rebirth karma and rebirth theek hai the message of bhagavad gita message of bhagavad gita basis of yoga theek hai basis of yoga basis of yoga the hour of god the hour of god to so, there are these books also which was written by this man so he was a you know not only a nationalist but also a philosopher a writer to bahut sare ye bahut hi important the shri arbind ghosh right so yesterday jo humne question discuss kiya that was this this was the question see philosophy of divine life on earth through spiritual evolution that was also written by him he was imprisoned in 1908 alipur bomb case and this is the same savitri book right so all these things were written by shri arvindo ghos we discussed this question yesterday okay coming to the next question that is with reference to right to be forgotten consider the following statement the first statement says the right is not recognized by law in india this is true because this is interpreted by the various supreme courts interpretations but this is not recognized by any law till now okay so remember this is uh, this came from this supreme courts interpretations but there is no law which recognize this that that is the right of forgotten is there right although 
अकॉर्डिंग टू द सुप्रीम कोर्ट दिस फॉर्म्स द पार्ट ऑफ फंडामेंटल राइट ठीक है बट देर इज नो लॉ दैट रिकोगनाइज दिस वन द सेकेंड स्टेटमेंट से इज European Union's General Data Protection Regulation. This is very important. That came in 2018. So, <clears throat> this GDPR provides for the right to erasure of certain category of personal data. अभी आपने देखा होगा कि if your data is there on particular website, या चाहे वो Google हो या फिर Facebook हो, so once you have posted your information, so if you want to You know, delete that information. तो वहां पर बहुत सारे लीगल चैलेंजेस आ जाते हैं सो देयर शुड बी अ राइट ऑफ राइट टू बी फॉर गोटन फॉर एग्जाम्पल आपकी कुछ ऐसी इंफॉर्मेशन uh, है जो बहुत प्राइवेट है एंड वो लीक हो गई है सो राइट टू फॉर गोटन जो है दैट सेज की दिस इंफॉर्मेशन शुड बी डिलीटेड अक्रॉस द प्लेटफॉर्म जहां जहां पर लीक हुई है एंड दैट इज द राइट ऑफ एन इंडिविजुअल ओके दिस इज द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ राइट टू बी फॉर गोटन ठीक है सो दिस इज रिकोगनाइज बाय सुप्रीम कोर्ट इंटरवेंशन इन इंडिया ठीक है दैट इज ट्रू बट देर इज नो सेपरेट लॉ एंड दिस इज द जनरल डेटा प्रोटेक्शन रिजीम ऑफ यूरोप जो ये रिकोगनाइज करता है मीन्स राइट टू बी फॉर गोटन इज रिकोगनाइज बाई द यूरोप आपको तुरंत वो प्लेटफॉर्म से इंफॉर्मेशन हटानी पड़ेगी एंड ऑन दीज लाइन वी आर ऑल्सो फॉर्मिंग अवर डेटा प्रोटेक्शन बिल आपने पढ़ा होगा वी हैव कवर्ड दैट वन मैंने इसको भी कवर किया हुआ है डेटा प्रोटेक्शन बिल को तो आप उसको जरूर देखना डेटा प्रोटेक्शन बिल सो वी हैव फॉर्म दिस डेटा प्रोटेक्शन बिल एंड वी हैव ऑल्सो टेकन द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ दिस राइट टू बी फॉर गोटन फ्रॉम दिस रिजीम ऑफ यूरोप यहां पे हम इनकॉर्पोरेट uh, करने वाले हैं and this data protection जो bill है that came on the recommendation of Justice बी एन श्री कृष्णा तो यह भी आप याद रखना okay so on the committee this this committee that is Justice बी एन श्री कृष्णा कमेटी recommendation we have formed our this draft that is protection bill data protection bill and in this we are also recognizing this aspect of European uh, general data protection regime okay so these both of the statements are true the answer would be both one and two coming to the next question that is Port Maputo, sometimes seen in news, is located in which of the following countries? Why this Port Maputo was in news? Because India recently sent INS Kesri as a food aid. It was carrying food aid for a country that is Mozambique, right? So this is the port that is Port Maputo, where our INS Kesri reached recently with its food aid for the Mozambique. Okay, so Mozambique is suffering through drought, and also here the problem of terrorism also there. Islamic State has the form of here that is the Daesh. Daesh is nothing but the Islamic terror organization which is operating here. So this Islamic terror organization, along with this drought. conditions has you know make this mozambique very weak especially in terms of the social aspect so this is the port maputo where our ins kesri was reached and this is the country mozambique okay so let me show you that on the map so this is the map where you can see this is the country of mozambique and this is the port maputo where ins ins kesri was reached right with its food aid ओके सो दिस इज अबाउट द टू डेज क्विज आई होप आपको काफी कुछ सीखने को मिला होगा इफ दिस इज द कंडीशन देन यू कैन शेयर एंड लाइक दिस वीडियो एंड इफ यू हैव एनी डाउट और एनी सजेशन यू कैन कमेंट दैट डाउन एंड दीज कमेंट्स आर वेरी मच यू नो यूजफुल फॉर अस आल्सो फॉर आर इंप्रूवमेंट थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो Current Affairs by Forum IAS is an all-in-one program that covers the dynamic aspect of the syllabus from both prelims and mains perspectives. Last year we have helped more than 100 students crack IAS with our Current Affairs classes.